Hello viewers, this is Achal Rafi once again. Welcome to this new video where I'm going to show you how to scrape web page by using Google Chrome Web Scraper extension. Okay, so here is the extension I'm going to use and I will add the link of this extension into the description field of the video. Okay, so here I have to add this extension to my Chrome browser. So I'm going to click here on add to Chrome, add extension. And here it is web scraper has been added to Chrome and it's now it's time to visit your web page which which I want to scrape so I am going to yelp.com to extract some business databases so here I'm going to extract uh, dentists from San Francisco let's see dentists and let's uh, let's just keep the location to Chicago okay and then I have to click anywhere of the web page and click on the right button of the mouse and then here find the inspect element okay or you can also use the shortcut keyboard control plus shift plus I I am going to click on inspect and here I have got a view of the uh, developer mode of this web page and now I am seeing here web scraper tool which I have just installed this one okay I have to click on web scraper and then let's just make it a bit bigger okay so here after clicking on web scraper you have to click on create new sitemap to create a sitemap of this web page or the resource link to be extracted okay so I'm going to click on create new sitemap and then create sitemap and then put the sitemap name so I'm going to put Yelp dentists and Chicago or just put uh, okay Yelp dentists okay and then start URL the uh, the resource URL so I'm going to copy this URL and going to paste it here create and now it's time to click on create sitemap okay so here we have got in this page we have got maybe uh, 10 businesses okay and we have got 5738 results okay and let me see how many pages so here there are many uh, multiple pages and I'm going to show you how to extract all of the pages at once by selecting the elements okay so now it's time to click on add new selector and then we have to put the original ID like dentists and then the type should be link as I'm going to select let's see which is this is the one number one so these these are going to be links so I'm going to click our add link and then I uh, there are multiple listings as you can see here in this page we have got 10 listings on this single page so it's a multiple listing so I'm going to click on multiple okay and then we have to select uh, click on this select button let me make it a bit big, bigger okay we have to click on select button and then we have to click on this uh, name okay this business name or this link address so we are going I'm, I'm just going to click on select and it's just got a red uh, output and then we have to click on another uh, business name or dentist name okay and now if we just scroll down we'll see all of the uh, numbers has been selected or the business names has been selected automatically okay and it's time to click on this button here enable different types of element selection so you have to click on it and then we have to click on done selecting okay and then we have to click on save selector 
all right now we have to click on our parent selector so i'm going to click on dentists and now under dentists we have to add new selectors for uh, business name address website and other information okay so i'm going to click on uh, this add new selector and then i'm going to put dentist's name okay and the text i'm going to open this one okay first of all i'm going to click and then here the id is dentist's name and then the uh, the id uh, or the the content should be text so i'm going to uh, keep the type in text okay and then i have to click on select and click on chicago dental studio and then i have to click on done selecting okay and then i have to click on save selector okay so the first element has been selected and now it's time to click on add new selector and then let's put the categories from here uh, click on categories and this should be text as well so I'm going to click on select and then click on each of the elements here okay and these are selected and it's time to click on done selecting click on save selector now again add new selector and then we want to extract this address information so i'm going to enter a double d r e double s and then again text then click on select click on text okay this address feature and then click on done selecting and here it's been selected and click on save selector then we want the phone number so i'm going to add the selector id phone number again text then click on select then click on the element click on done selecting and save selector and then we want the uh, website address so it's time to click on add new selector and then is name website and then text okay and then select click on the element click on done selecting this is a repetitive actions here on this page and it's been selected again click on save selector okay so here we have added all the elements for first page okay now it it's time to click on sitemaps okay so now click on this parent URL. Uh, now we want to extract all the pages. Let me show you. Share the pages. Uh, here, all of these nine pages uh, will be selected and maybe more will be selected, okay? So to select all of them at once and to extract all of them at once, we have to click on this button or our parent selector. Okay, so click here on add new selector then id this is this is uh, called pagination so i'm going to put the name or actually pages okay and then text uh, the type should be links because there's a links okay and then we are going to select multiple pages so i have to click on multiple and then click on select and then i have to click on numbers okay all has been selected and it's time to enable different type element section or selection enable and then click on done selecting and then click on save selector and now we are we have got two selectors one is for all of the dentists from the first page and the uh, first page with the elements which has a business name website phone number address etc and the second selector has all the pages okay it's instructing our extractor to visit all the pages to collect information 
or similar information okay so now it's time to click on the first selector and click on edit button and here we have to select the pages we want to extract so root has been already selected but we again we are going to select and then click on pages to extract all of the pages at once okay click on save selector and now it's time to visit the graph let me see or let us check if everything is fine in selection so here is our root and then click on this graph then dentists on this list we are going to get dentist's name categories address phone number website and from page uh, graph we are going to get again same information from each of the pages okay dentists and then we are going to get dentist name categories address phone number website okay all are looking great and it's time to scrape them at once so i'm going to click on here and then click on scrape and request interval millisecond 2000 it should be uh, 2000 milliseconds and then page load should be 2000 at uh, also this is the minimum numbers okay or time frames and now it's time to click on start scraping and you'll see a pop-up window will be appeared and it will start extracting the information so i'm going to click on start scraping and here we go a pop-up has been appeared and you will see that the page will be automatically loaded within few seconds okay so as you can see it's just started extracting the first page is being extracted and it's attempting extract information from the second page and i'm going to fast forward the video to get all of the results okay and then i will show you what I have got after some times okay guys so here is you can see our scraping has been finished and it's time to click on refresh to see the data and here we go we have got all the extracted pages. we have got 93 or maybe 90 uh, listings okay so I'm going to download them from here export data as CSV to see what we have got download now and let's go to documents and save it here and it's been downloaded and let's open this file I had to wait few minutes to get the data extracted okay so you might need to wait for a few minutes as well and let's see what are the informations so here is the dentist's name I think okay or actually here this one here uh, to uh, this is a duplicate entry for this part so I'm going to close or actually delete them this one is the source link okay and here is the dentist name uh, category and okay so I forgot to select multiple here on the category section so this is why i've got only the first category okay and then here is the address information if i just like this and wrap text okay so here are the address information here are the phone numbers and website for the businesses which is a website and these are the other information that I don't need okay so here we have got our uh, 97 business informations extracted from uh, Yelp okay so 
I have got all the listings listings from one page uh, one by one from all of the pages okay so this is the process of using the Google web scraper extension and I hope you have found this video helpful and if you have found this video helpful please consider liking this video to support me and let me know if you have any question by commenting below and your opinion on the video and subscribe to my channel to get more videos like this one and i hope to see you in the next video thank you very much for watching